after school art with handmade kids art. I'm Jamie and today I'm going to show you a fun drawing project that you can do along at home. So I have gathered all my materials. I have my pencil, marker, ruler, white paper. I have newspaper underneath my white paper to help protect my workspace. So if you're working on a table, you may want to put a different piece of paper underneath in case you color off it. Now the first thing I want you to do is we are going to do a straight vertical line. So I'm going to place my ruler straight up and down. That is a vertical line. And draw about five or maybe seven. So draw five to seven vertical lines across your paper. Now your lines can be straight up and down or they can also be at a diagonal. Remember, you are the artist, so you get to decide how you want to draw your lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw five lines. Remember, if you wanna do more or less, that is okay. And next, I'm gonna draw three shapes on top of my lines. So you can decide if you want a circle, a triangle, a square, and I'm just gonna freehand my shapes. So I'm gonna do one circle, I'm gonna do one triangle and I'll do a rectangle off to the side over here. So think about it, decide where you want to place your shapes. All right, now that I have my shapes drawn in, I am going to start coloring. Now for this project, I'm just gonna use one marker and I've decided to use black today so it will create a black and white checkerboard pattern but if you want to add in color, you certainly can do that as well. Now, we're gonna start on the left-hand side, and the very first section of the paper, I'm gonna color in black. So you notice this whole section here is all one. There are no lines that intersect or cross through. So I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring in this section. What I like to do is kind of outline my shape and then I use my marker. And notice I'm not kind of scrubbing, I'm not scribbling with my marker. I'm simply going straight up and down and I'm gonna continue doing this and fill in the entire shape. Okay, so I have colored in the entire first section. And now, any section next to that that's touching is gonna be white. So it's gonna be the opposite. So see, this part of the circle is gonna be white. And then you see how this line intersects the circle? So now I know that this part is gonna be black. So that part is gonna have color. Now, if we look down here, we have black, and then this section is gonna be white. So anything touching here. But the triangle intersects, and so in this part, I'm going to make it black. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue in coloring. I know this section is gonna be black, so I'm gonna go ahead and outline it, and then fill in with color. Okay, so we're gonna continue our pattern across. So I'm gonna start at the top. I have my black, white, oh, so I know this one is gonna be black. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. So we're gonna continue going. So I have black, then these two sections are white, and then this one is black. Remember, every other section you're gonna color in. And I'm gonna keep going. So this one's black, this one's white, then this is going to be black.
If you wanted to add color, you could go back in with a second color and fill in the white parts with a little bit of color. Well, thank you for joining me today. We had so much fun with our project. Be sure to hit subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all our video tutorials. See you next time.